What do you think? This guy's an herbivore? <laughs> this is uncanny. This is his first time eating spaghetti squash. Today we're going to talk to you about meals that you can eat with your little one. Before you go feeding the little one food, make sure you take a choking class, infant CPR, and, and check with your pediatrician. The rate that you introduce foods is different with all babies, so you just gotta kinda play it by them. Tate is only eating solid food, he never liked baby food, and he chews like a choo-choo train. <laughs> One of the recipes we'll be sharing with you today is out of our WSLF cookbook. It has 55 health supporting recipes and lifestyle inspo. Make sure to join our WSLF thriving Facebook group, and you can only get this life-changing cookbook on MrMrsVegan.com. We like to start the morning with something super simple to keep Tate occupied while we prepare breakfast. These organic quinoa puffs are awesome. Hey, look at what mommy made you. Yum. All right, let him get it. So this is the hash brown pie from our last video, and Tater has added some uh, quinoa puffs to it for a little <laughs> added garnish. <laughs> But we love this pie so much, uh, we kind of adapted it a little bit and simplified it so it would be great for Tate too. How is that Tate? Are you going to save me any? Mmm. Mmm. I think he wants more. Mmm. I did modify the original recipe just a little bit to be more baby friendly. Here I'm starting the mixture with three tablespoons of almond milk. So the recipe does call for one tablespoon of tahini, but grandma, she doesn't really cook. So this is the extent of her measuring cups. So I put three teaspoons in. Go ahead and mix up the tahini and almond milk. Plus this recipe does call for things like apple cider vinegar, nutritional yeast, smoked paprika, some sea salt. On this occasion, I left it out, but I'm gonna put all the ingredients down below. Then I put about a half a can of drained and rinsed white beans. Go ahead and lightly mash the white beans into the tahini almond milk mixture. Roughly chop some pre-cooked potatoes. Then add in your bean mixture. Combine the ingredients. Go ahead and spread your hash brown pie mixture into a non-stick pan and pat it compactly down. Pop that in the oven at 450 for 15 minutes. Since Tate's pretty much toothless still, I make sure I only give him like softer pieces of food. And especially with the hash brown pie, sometimes there will be crispier pieces along the edge. So I, I aim to give him the pieces in the center, which are softer and you can chew them with your gums. <laughs> you wanna tell everybody how much you like potatoes? Mmm. Mm. But we're still at grandma's house and we're gonna head back as soon as it gets really cold here. But Tate's having a great time. Grandma has stuff for all the other grandkids, so we really didn't have to bring anything. Okay, so we're constantly introducing Tate to new foods. And it's usually new fruits because they're so abundant and plentiful and he loves them. And so today we're gonna try watermelon. I just got this little seedless one. I don't know if it's gonna be any good, but we'll see if Tate likes watermelon. All right. What do you think of your first watermelon? Mmm. Mmm. So delicious, isn't it? With Tate's top teeth coming in, he's been craving anything cold to soothe his sore gums. So I've been making him popsicles. Usually I make a mixture of coconut milk with cherry juice and a half a banana. And then sometimes I also put peanut butter. One nice popsicle. Who wants that? Oh yeah. Yum. Can mom have some? Can I have a lactator? Mm -hmm. No, you're not gonna share it. For lunch, we make it easy, like really easy. <laughs> Usually, we pick either a rice or quinoa microwave mixture. Typically, it's bird's eye, but on this occasion, we splurge on engine two. I love the Engine 2 Fiesta Mix. 
The beans can be a little hard and rough, so I just add more water and microwave them for a longer time. Another one of Tater's favorite food, and of course mine, is avocado. Yes, we pretty much eat a whole avocado between the both of us every day. Yeah, guys, I don't know if any other moms out there just started becoming a little sloppier. <laughs> like, I used to make things look a lot prettier. Now it's just like, get it done. Now with the Engine 2 mix, um, I typically leave it plain for Tate with just, you know, avocado. And But for me, I like to spice it up either with salsa or some cumin and I add some salt. I mean, you could, you could do anything with it. You cut the black bean burgers up in either squares or spears. Um, it's finger food. He loves it. The great thing about these black bean burgers, pretty simple ingredients. It doesn't have a whole lot of spice. It doesn't have onions and garlic. It's pretty baby friendly. <clears throat> What's your shirt say, Tate? The star of the show. Star of the show. Yay. Every day. <laughs> that is. What are you going to pick? Bean burger. No. You got to examine that closer, don't you? Oh, I want your corn tortilla. Hey, that's not on my plate. No, Give me that. <laughs> you can have that yet. Not yet. Tate, smashing away that avocado. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Yes, it is squash season again. So I wanted to make Tate my lentil spaghetto from the WSLF cookbook. They say to wait about 10 months before introducing tomatoes to your child's diet, but he's like two weeks away, so I think he'll be okay. The recipe calls for a full spaghetti squash and some pre-cooked lentils. A couple carrots and celery. Combine the ingredients. Add one cup of cooked lentils and two cups of tomato sauce. Since I am cooking for Tate, I decided to go with an organic plain tomato sauce with no extra sugar, salt, or spices. When I'm cooking for myself and Tate, I always like to cook the vegetables just a little bit longer so they're softer. That looks like spaghetti. <laughs> Look at that, whoa! Since it is Tate's first time having tomato sauce, I'm gonna go just a little light on his plate to see how he does. Okay, so I don't know if any other moms have dealt with this. Comment down below if you have, but Tate will not let me wipe his hands. So I devised a method of filling a glass of warm water. I let him dip his hands in and then pat him dry. Voila, no cry, clean hands. Oh. Tate, that's such a big bite. That's such a big bite. You can't eat that much. Tatey, that's too much. That's too much. Yeah, he's just gonna spit it out. Hey, <laughs> I think we found your new favorite dinner, didn't we? If you all enjoyed this video of what we eat in a day with our little one, please give this video a thumbs up. And we would love to know what you eat with your baby and family, so please comment down below and let us know. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Wow. Stick around for more vegan fan videos. Yummer.